Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds, and we're going to compare them against the Klipsch T5 True Wireless Earbuds. These were just recently released, and we're going to match them up and see which one comes up on top. So if you're in the market trying to decide if you should pick up the Eclipse T5 True Wireless Earbuds or the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds, you're going to want to watch this video because today we're going to cover audio quality, we're going to cover fit and finish, battery life, and yes, we're going to cover the call quality test EVP man style. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, as we take a look at the cases themselves, you'll notice that there's a dramatic difference between the two. Really, the Klipsch a T5 outclasses Sennheiser's in appearance. You'll notice this case, beautiful stainless steel case, a case that as we open it up, you'll see that you have your earbuds. And the neat thing about these earbuds is that it really doesn't matter which uh, placement you put them in. It doesn't really matter. Left can go on the left, the right can go on the right, or vice versa, because it will charge no matter where you put it. You also see that you have this three uh, LED indicator indicating the battery life. The case itself holds the buds magnetically, so they will not come out. And as I close this, it is also sealed magnetically. It uses USB-C, and it's just a great looking case. Now, as we look at the Sennheisers, Sennheisers is a fabric plastic case. And as we look at this case and we open it up, uh, it will also keep them from falling out, but these you have to place in a specific area. So they are shaped and molded to the left goes in the left slot, the right goes in the right slot, and as you can see in the back, it also supports USB-C, but it does not have a three bar indicator. It only has a color indicator that changes colors based on you know the battery life that you have remaining in the case. Now, so far I have been testing these uh, for a little bit over 24 hours, and I've had, as you know, the Sennheisers for quite some time. The negative thing about the Sennheisers is that the case discharges very fast. So I've gone maybe three days at most before the case has been just drained off and the battery of the case and also the earbuds start draining as well. Now the clips have been going on for again 24 hours and I haven't noticed any drainage but it's still very early. So we'll update this video and indicate if there's any drainage of the battery by being in the case. I do have other cases like for example if I think about the Jabras, the Jabras that I have right here I can have them for a week, for a month uh, and they still have a charge. There's no drain whatsoever. So the, in this case as we compare these two Sennheiser's always drain and also the case is not as sharp as the Klipsch. Now one other big difference when it comes to the earbuds is the fact that the earbuds for Klipsch have a four mic array. So you'll notice that you have two mics here and we'll put this one back into the case and we'll, as we take a look at the Sennheisers, the Sennheisers only have one. Next let's talk about the battery life. So as we look at the Sennheisers, the Sennheisers are going to give you four hours of battery life uh, from the earbuds and that's going to be the combined earbuds. Now these do work in a slave and master mode which means that your Bluetooth signal is going to go to one earbud which is going to be the right one and the right one is then going to share the signal uh, to the left one. So if you want to use only one earbud for anything, the only thing you can use is your right one. You can't use the left one independently. So that is going to be four hours that you can use of only one earbud and you really can't double it up in any way because of that slave master dependency. Now the case itself is going to give you an additional 12 hours in addition to the four that you'll get from the earbuds. Now as we look at the clips, it's a little bit different here. So the clips, you're going to be able to get eight hours per earbud. So you can actually have one earbud in your ear and it will have a, a Bluetooth connection to your phone and you can then put another one in your ear independently and then it will switch to the Bluetooth Bluetooth connection of that earbud. So you have a right and a left earbud connection. Now when you have both in your ear, it's going to work in a slave and master mode too. So if you have both of them in your ear, it's either going to be your left or your right that will be the, the slave and the other one will be uh, the master. Now it's pretty easy to find out which one is the slave and the master simply by looking at your Bluetooth signal and you'll see in your Bluetooth area which one has the primary connection. But the cool thing about this is that you can use them independently. That means that while you can get eight hours here, you could actually get another eight hours here giving you a total of 16 hours if you use them independently and then the case is going to give you an additional 24 hours of battery life. So from a battery life perspective, it really crushes the Sennheisers too. Now as you take a closer look at the earbuds, they both take the earbuds, uh, the form and fit I would say are very different. So you notice that this one has more of an ear um, natural shape to it and as I put it in my ear, you'll notice how they go in. 
right? So this is what they're going to look like, right? Um, and they may be too big, they may be too large, you know, that's going to be your call based on the size of your ears, but this is what they would look like as they're on. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice with these is that the earbuds only have a, a two mic array. So you'll notice here's the mic for this one, and then you have another mic on your other um, earbud. As we take a look at the, the ones from Klipsch, they actually take a different approach. So here we have both of these earbuds, and the first thing that you'll notice is that they go really deep in your ear canal. They also have two mics, not just um, one on each one, but actually two. That means that you have a four mic array, which is supposed to improve the, uh, the call quality. Now, again, uh, it, this one actually is going to go deeper in your ear, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is the right one. Put this in, and then I'll put the left one in, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, from a control perspective, this one has physical control. So when you want to start, play music, answer the phone call, there's a physical press to it. So as you press, you'll notice that it's, it's going to go in your ear, which for some of you may be a little bit uncomfortable because it, it's actually going to go in a little bit more. Uh, but it's, it's rather responsive. And what I recommend you do is you just put your finger around here in the back like this, and then you just tap. Uh, for those of you who just don't like to get something deeper in your ear, that's the only way you're going to be able to work it. So the controls are pretty simple to use. With the uh, Sennheisers, it's a little bit different. Uh, the Sennheisers themselves, uh, the buttons uh, that you have are, uh, uh, are where you just tap and they will just work. So this is what they would look like. And again, all you do is tap lightly and they'll connect. So there's not a lot of pressing going on, uh, no pressure going back in your ear, and they don't go as deep into your ear canal. Now from a sound isolation, both of them do a fantastic job of sound isolation. So even though the clips go deeper in your ear, the, the noise as isolation is really good. There's no sound leakage. And then when I look at the Sennheisers, the same is true. Now from an IP rating, you have an IP rating of 4 for the Klipsch, and then you have an IP rating of 2 on the Sennheisers. So while neither of these are advertised as sports earbuds, they both will work in a gym setting um, as you're using them on a run because they're going to be splash and also sprinkle proof. They're not submergible, but the Klipsch do have a higher rating when it comes to that IP4 rating versus an IP2. Now from an audio quality perspective, the Sennheisers pretty much crush it. These have a immersive uh, sound stage. They, it feels like you're in a music studio. You basically have a warm sound signature. You have very deep rumbling bass. Uh, the experience is just unlike any other earbud that I've heard on the market. Now that doesn't mean that the clips are, are bad. Uh, they are actually crispy clean. They're very clear, but the bass isn't as pronounced as you find them with the Sennheisers. And I would describe these as leaning more towards the bright side of the uh, sound signature. So, and, and again, that's if you compare them to the Sennheisers. If you were to get these and you never heard these before, you would think that these are amazing. But if you literally compare song by song together, you're going to find that these are going to have a warmer um, again, more immersive. It's like being in a sound studio. This is still good, but it's just not the same. So from a sound perspective, if you're looking for the best audio signature, uh, Sennheiser has it. Now, both of these earbuds support Bluetooth 5.0, and both of them do not support multi-pairing technology, which is kind of this disappointment. So as I'm connected to my iPad and let's say my Android phone, I would have to disconnect one device in order for this to connect to the other. The same thing is true with the clips. That's uh, somewhat disappointing, especially in, in an age where everything is multi-pair. Now, the other thing about this is that with that multi-pair or the lack of multi-pair, there's also a lack of hear-through technology with the clips. So these have the ability to hear the ambient noise around you, so you don't have to take out your earbuds. You can hear what's going on. These, on the other hand, uh, don't have that feature. Now, I did contact Klipsch, and there is a, uh, I would say, an application that's going to become available, which is the Klipsch Connect. And the Klipsch Connect is supposed to bring in those capabilities. So once they come in, we'll go ahead and test the app and see if you have ambient sound and how they compare. But right now, for an ambient sound, uh, the Sennheiser's got it win. And then from a Bluetooth perspective, they're pretty much equal, both 5.0 and both cannot multi-pair.
Now from a call quality perspective, both of them support stereo sound. So as you're on a phone call, both of the earbuds are going to be able to uh, have stereo. So you're gonna hear the call on both sides. But the Klipsch is the only one that you could use either earbud to take the phone call. With the Sennheisers, you can only use the right one if you only wanna use one earbud. With the Klipsch, you could use the right or the left. It really doesn't matter. And they will both uh, do a really good job when it comes to the call quality. We're gonna do a call quality test so that you can see in an extreme environment and also in a quiet environment what the quality is like. Now we're going to do a call quality test using the Sennheiser True Wireless Momentum earbuds. We're in a ambient noise environment, we don't have loud noise, and what we're going to do is just see how the sound quality sounds when using these earbuds. So this is what the call quality would sound like in a normal environment that has ambient noise. Let me know what you think about the call quality. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is what the Sennheiser True Wireless earbuds sound like in a non-noisy environment. Now we're going to test the Clips T5 True Wireless earbuds in a low noise environment. This is what the call quality would sound like in a low noise environment with the Clips T5 True Wireless earbuds. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Let me know what you think about the call quality in the comment area below. So now we're in a noisy environment and we're around anywhere from 60 to 71 decibels of sound. We're going to switch to the Sennheisers and see how they sound in a noisy environment. This is what the call quality would sound like in a noisy environment using the Sennheiser 2 wireless phone This is the test for 2-3. This is the test. Let me know what you thought of this call quality in the comments. So now we're testing the T5 True Wireless earbuds from Clips in a noisy environment. This is what the call quality would sound like from the Clips T5 True Wireless earbuds in a noisy environment. This is the test. One, two, three. This is the test. Let me know what you think about the call quality in the comment area below. So now if you're wondering which one came up on top, well from a battery perspective, the Klipsch T5 True Wires earbuds, they actually rock. Uh, they have the best uh, battery life, they have the best flexibility when it comes to using them independently. Eight hours for each earbud separately or eight hours combined with the 24 additional hours from the case. Now if you're looking for the best sounding earbuds and you can live with four hours of battery life and not having the same level of flexibility as you have with these, then the Sennheisers continue to be the reigning champion when it comes to audio quality. So hopefully this is gonna help you with your buying decision. Sennheisers for best audio quality, Clips for the best battery life and overall experience given the flexibility that you get with the earbuds. Let me know which one you choose in the comment area below.